This week in Physics Lab, we'll be making a measurement of the Earth's magnetic field using the magnetometer in your cell phone. This image here shows the magnetic field of the planet as it would be seen from space, provided we could actually see magnetic field lines. The magnetic field has the structure of a magnetic dipole. The inset diagram here shows a magnetic dipole field lines as illustrated by dropping iron filings under a bar magnet. The cyan lines that you see from north to south here indicate the rough field lines around the dipole. The Earth's field geometry is very similar to that, but it has an asymmetric shape, and that's because of the solar wind. Blowing in this diagram from the right to the left stretches out the magnetic field behind the planet. The magnetic field of our planet is generated through a process called the dynamo effect, where convection and rotation of the metallic material in the center of our planet is spun around, and the spinning conductors creates an electromagnetic field. The actual nature of this dynamo is the subject of much research, and the internal field of the planet is thought to be a tangled spaghetti mess like you see here. However, once you get outside the surface of the planet, it behaves roughly like a dipolar field. It's our job to measure the strength of the dipole as we, met, as we see it here on the planet Earth. Let's think about how to do that. To do this, you will need your phone running the Firefox app and the planet Earth. So what we're going to be doing is essentially using our phone, using the magnetometer in it, to measure the three-dimensional magnetic field. But we need to keep a few things in mind as we're taking our data. First, if you have a phone with a magnetic case, go ahead and take your phone out of your case when you make the measurement. When you do so, you're going to want to find out where geographic north is. I happen to know from where I live that that direction is due north, uh, so head that way, get to the North Pole. Finally, when you collect the data, turn on the Firefox app, collecting information, and you're going to want to sort of spin the phone around in three dimensions. This helps calibrate the magnetometer inside the phone. Then hold your phone facing north, looking at the screen vertically, as you would if you were taking a vertical photo. Go ahead then and collect the data and freeze it when you get steady results. The numbers on your screen will be the measurements of the magnetic field of the planet. The actual data collection takes place inside the Firefox app. Simply open the app, select the magnetometer button, and select the multi view. This brings up a view of the magnetometer measurements over the course of time. They are color coded, so when I start the app, what you're seeing here is a time-varying graph of the magnetic field three-dimensional components as I turn the phone around. You'll notice that the colors in the measurements, the numbers, correspond to the colors seen in the graph. What we're going to do is adjust our phone until the magnetic field readings are steady and then stop collecting data and then use the three-dot menu in the upper right to share the data with your computer. Then you will upload the screenshot that you take by using that menu here to share a screenshot and share that up to eClass just to so show what numbers you use in the lab. Once we've collected the data, we'll need to use the coordinate system inside the Firefox app to interpret the direction of the magnetic field. You should already have magnetic field information that looks like the screenshot on the right of this slide. Go ahead and upload that to eClass. The next thing we have to do is interpret the direction of the magnetic field as seen in the phone, using the coordinate system that's shown here on the left. So looking at what the x, y, and z axes are, and the measurements of the magnetic field along those axes, we can interpret the direction of the field. For example, here the magnetometer is registering a strong negative value along the z axis, and therefore the field must be extending out the back of the phone as shown here. Note that your data should not be values like this. These are data that I collected using the magnetic uh, case of my phone, so they are all messed up. Nonetheless, this tells me a bit about what the field should look like around the magnetic field of, of my phone case. So given that, just go ahead and upload your information to eClass and do some interpretation. It should be a light lab this week. If it doesn't seem like there's much to it, there isn't. So just go ahead and get ready to use the magnetometer for the next two labs here in the class. 
Good luck.